Okay, folks, so next in the series on the Le Five Superior Fat Flour, uh, we are going to go for 74% hydration. So we've previously done 70%, we've done 72%, I've done 80%, which was troublesome um, and a bit of a bit of a difficult customer and now we're going for 74 percent so i already have this auto lysing in my fridge right now so six dough balls 280 grams i have got the usual settings and i have a wastage of two percent added so that just gives me a little bit more for leaving residue and things kicking around um we're 74 percent hydration 3% salt um, it's Thursday evening so 24 hours leavening at 18 degrees and 24 hours leavening at 3 degrees um, and that means we're going to need 968 grams of flour 716 grams of water 29 grams of salt and Yeast is 0.97 uh, grams, of which I will round that up to just being one gram of yeast. Um, so yeah, I think that just about covers it. Also to note that the 716 grams of water, which is what we need for the 74%, um, I actually auto lysed the flour on its own with 616 grams, so that leaves me with 100 grams of water to add the yeast to which is what I will do when I mix it together um, I know some people say that that's not the right way to go about it and stuff like that I've seen a few comments but I've done it like that a few times and it seems to work for me so if it works for you stick with it and that's what I'm gonna do so uh, we'll get this started shortly okay so this is the dough that's been auto for five hours in the fridge yeah it's nice and cold so that should help with mixing I normally break this up into bits but today I'm not gonna bother um, I've not seen this machine struggle yet so I'm just gonna tip a bit of of the water on this is now the the hundred millimeters milliliters of water with the yeast mixed in it so I just put a bit in to strike to start it off and uh, tighten up the nuts on the side and then we'll get this thing going Let's start it off on a slowish speed and get the timer going ah, it's not bothered in the slightest so yeah speed five it's looking good put some more water in just gonna trickle it in bit by bit so we get up to the 74 percent that we're looking for so I've been mixing for three minutes 38 seconds still got some water left but it's uh, absorbing it really really well at the moment I'm not seeing any uh, any moisture kicking around it's just sucking it all up add some more water and then we'll come back okay four minutes 30 into it now got the tiniest amount of water left in my bowl in my jug should say and that is it all the moisture is in there now okay five minutes into the mix and in goes the rest of the salt it's pumpkined up really well already this thing um, I'm going to be giving it a rest in a few minutes once this salt's gone Got a bit stuck round the edge, which, oops, bit of bit of salt stuck round the edge. So I'll just get that out. Oh, this feels really nice already. I'll just get this salt blended in, and then I think we'll leave it for a few minutes. Okay, I've given this about five minutes to rest. Let's uh, send it round again. See what it looks like. looks good I don't think it's going to need much more but just go it, get it going slow I'm 
let's have a look at it. God, it's, it's quite strong. It's not ready yet. It's definitely not ready yet. That. Okay, I'll send it around for a bit more. And then we'll come back to it. It's looking smoother now. I think it's uh, pumpkin up quite nicely. I think I'm going to let it run for a little longer and then I'm going to let it rest again. Okay, so that's 8 minutes 45. We'll leave it to rest for a bit longer. Okay, it's been resting for a little while. Oh, look at that. Still got a bit of a hole in it early, quickly then, but it's getting there, that. I'll just give it a touch more. But yeah, it's looking nice. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is at least another 10 minutes. It looks very smooth now when I pull on it, as you can see. So I'm gonna let the mixer, as I will call it, tickle it for a little while just to ball it. And uh, I don't really want to break the, uh, the gluten, gluten strands again like I did last time it's not what you want to aim for so we're gonna let it uh, run round it'll make it look all smooth and we'll we'll stop it at that point there we go it's looking super smooth uh, a bit longer right I think that'll do Yeah, so I'll pull this out now and then uh, turn it into some sort of ball. Let's have a quick look at it first. It's definitely got some strength in it now. It's lifting its all. It's not bad for 74% hydration, but yeah, there you go. Still ripping slightly, but it probably could do with a bit longer, but I'm not sure. That's pretty good. Don't really want to overdo it, so I'll have a look at turning it into a ball and uh, see whether it's smooth. If not, I'll put it back in again. I guess when you, I mean, I haven't done 74% for a long time, and I can't remember the one I did a few weeks ago. You forget what you did back then. Um, I guess it'd be good if you did it like daily and you could really learn the technique and get an eye for it and a feel for it. But when you do it like occasionally, like I do, it's sometimes difficult to tell what things are like. Now that is starting to look super smooth. It is. <sighs> wow, that is looking seriously smooth and it's holding together quite well. Let's have a... I 
Yeah, that's miles better. Look how far I can stretch it before it starts to rip. Let's get another piece. Miles better. Look at that now. Still tempted to just give it. I'm probably going to overdo it here, but I'm tempted to give it another another quick tickle. Right, I don't want to overdo it. still will rip but that just feels it feels really smooth now yeah I'm happy with that okay let's get it out and we'll have a crack at ball in it yeah it's done that I'm sure that's done lovely okay so I can't turn it into a nice ball it's uh, a bit tacky to handle too much so I thought I'd just uh, handle it on the board and give it a couple of folds and see if I can then get it into a oops into a nice ball. Pack it, that's for sure. But not super tacky. Right, let's see if we can. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to stick that in the bowl, cover it with cling film and throw it in the fridge for 24 hours. There she is before we cover it up and we'll have a look tomorrow before we uh, pull it out for room temperature. And just for the record, that was thereabouts. I did start it a few seconds late and odd time, but we'll call it 14 minutes in the mixer to get that nice smooth dough ball. Okay, so here we are. It's now just gone 12 o'clock on Saturday. So this thing has been in the fridge for 24 hours. It's been out on the uh, dining room table for about 18 hours. It's got a further six hours to go in bald format. It's quite wobbly. I've got a feeling I'm going to need some moisture on my hands to deal with this. Okay, a bit more moisture on my hands. Okay, I think that's about the best I can get this. So I'll do that with the rest of them. There we go, that's them balled up, that's about best I can get that using a bit of uh, water on my hands to moisten them um, yeah 74% I feel like this is going to be the uh, end of the experiment but we'll see how it goes tonight when we cook them okay so we're about to cook and that's what they look like look pretty sloppy to me um, it's too cold to get the dough balls outside still um, so I'm going to leave them in here and uh, take them out one at a time so we'll start the first one. Okay, so let's get one of these rascals out. And 
there we go. Okay, so I'll give it a good bath in the semolina. Feels nice. It's retracting though. Yeah, maybe slightly. Yeah, it's definitely retracting. Don't know why that is. Okay, let's move it over here a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's elastic. Very elastic for some reason. Don't know why that is. Okay. Some sauce on. Warm the sauce up in the microwave a little bit because it's still quite cool out here. I didn't want to put cold sauce on. It's only just warm. Okay, that looks good. Well, it's not been too scary as yet. We'll see how it launches. some fennel sausage the onion quick temp check oh we better turn that down a bit wind's picking up Mushies. A few more onions. Okay, let's stretch it out on the peel. Sausage. Okay, that looks like a good do. There you go. Let's stop that peel. It's going to be interesting getting that off. I not quite dusted it enough. It's stuck at the back end that, so we'll see how that's going to go. Stuck that just at that last corner there, I think. I think we're all right. It's puffing up nice. Yeah, we're still all right. Underneath's looking okay. That was a scary moment then. Let's 
Let's have a look. Give it a bit more heat, I think. Yeah, looking lovely that. Looking lovely. Underneath still looks good. I think that's pretty much done. Still see a little bit of steam coming out of it. I think it's still yeah, it's still steaming. I'll give it a little bit longer. When it steams, it seems to me that there's still moisture in there, which means that you could have potentially undercut dough in places, but that does look good to me. Wow, I can smell that fennel. Yeah, it's retracted somewhat, but it's still a nice pizza. Yeah. Yeah, looks all right, doesn't it? Okay, let's get it inside and give it a quick cut up. Okay, so it looks quite nice. Crust feels nice, it's got a nice crisp to it. spring to it. Look at that molten cheese as well. Pizza looks good. Look at that. It's very soft, very nice, fluffy looking. So 74% looks pretty good. Let's give it a quick taste. Mm, very light. Nice little crisp to it. Yes, very nice. I don't think it's done a bad job of that. I mean, that is pretty amazing. Some nice cavities. So there we go. The five superior, 74%. I don't know if there's a lot of le uh, legs left in the hydration on this. It might do 76. I might have a try at that in a couple of weeks but I'll probably bail out at that because I know it's it's no good at 80. Well, it was all right, but I threw a couple away, I think, from memory. But that is really nice. Really nice. Okay, on that note, thanks for watching.